Hello, welcome to Mastering 5th Grade Math. My name is Jason. In this lesson, we're we'll learning how to multiply mixed numbers times a fraction. So we've learned how to multiply fractions times fractions. Now we need to learn what happens when we're multiplying times a mixed number, which might be something like 1 and a third times 1 half, or 1 and 5 uh, sevenths times 1 third, or something like that. So let's just uh, jump right into a problem. You're going to find it's very simple to do. What if we have 3 and 1 half, and we're multiplying times one-third. What do we do? What I want you to do is take every mixed number that you see and change it into an improper fraction. So for this one, two times three gives me six, plus one gives me seven, and I always write it over what's over the bottom. So now I've transformed this into a fraction, and now when I multiply one by one-third, I treat it exactly the same way as I've done every other fraction that I've multiplied by. I multiply the tops and I multiply the bottoms. Seven times one gives me seven. Two times three gives me six. So the answer is seven sixth. You could circle that, but you always want to see if you can convert it back into a mixed number because in this case you have an improper fraction. And your original problem has a mixed number in it, so let's try to change it back into a mixed number. How many times will six go into seven? Well, it can only go one time with a remainder of one, and I write it over six. So that's changing it back into mixed number one and one sixth. So these two numbers, seven sixth and one and one sixth, represent exactly the same amount of material, the same amount of pizza or whatever it is. Uh, typically you want to write it as a mixed number if your problem is given to you as a mixed number. So I hope you see now that when we're given mixed numbers like four and a fourth times one fifth, really we're not doing much different. You see, a lot of times students, when they learn math, they see it so many different rules, but really, it's not really any new rules. All I'm telling you to do is change this into improper fraction, and then you multiply as usual. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 1, 17, you write it over 4, and you multiply by 1 fifth, same as we always have. And now, 17 times 1 becomes 17, 4 times 5 becomes 20. And then this is 17 twentieths. Now there's nothing else to do here uh, because it's not an improper fraction and I can't simplify this anymore. So we just circle the answer, 17 twentieths. What if I have 1 eighth times 2 and 1 half? Well, same sort of thing. I take the 1 eighth right here and I multiply. This becomes a mixed, uh, an improper fraction. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5 and I write it over 2. So I just changed it to an improper fraction. Now when I have it in this form, 1 times 5 gives me 5, 8 times 2 gives me 16. I look at that and I see, can I divide top and bottom by anything to simplify it? And I cannot. So that's the final answer. So no matter if your fraction is a mixed number or not, now you know how to multiply them. What if we have 2 thirds times 2 and 2 thirds? Well, you'll have 2 thirds here. This we just changed, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8, and we write it over 3, and now we can uh, multiply this. 8 times 2 gives me 16, 3 times 3 gives me 9. So we try to simplify this, but we notice that it's an improper fraction. So how many times will, six, will 9 go into 16? Well, 9 times 2 is 18, that's too many times. So this only goes one time. And so the difference between 16 and 9 is 7, and I always write it over the denominator. So 1 and 7 ninths. That is the final answer. So I'm hoping that by now you're starting to feel a little bit more comfortable with multiplying fractions and multiplying